So here's a um, thing that I made uh, and if you put in three 9 volt batteries here, uh, here's what it can do. So how does it work? Well, what this black thing is, is basically a paper cone flattened with an LDR at one end and that senses the amount of light coming in, in that direction um, or in other words, how much light is coming from over there. When you turn it on, that wheel turns but this one doesn't so it goes round and round in circles um, but when the light level and entering the, the cone goes beyond a certain point this relay over here, that little black thing you can see, that is stripped. And what that does is it turns on this wheel and the fan. What I did is I pointed at the wall, uh, light on the wall and that happened. Then when the light goes back down, that stops again. Since it goes right back to circling after putting out a candle, you can use more than one candle. Also, there's a bunch of switches and knobs on the thing. Uh, what are those? Well. I'm using three isolated batteries for three parts of the circuit. I have one for the fan, one for the controlling circuit and one for the wheels. And the controlling circuit and the uh, wheels have their own switches. Um, the fan can only be powered through a relay so it doesn't need its own switch. The knob in the middle is a kind of setting if you will. Uh, it sets the threshold of light at which the relay comes on so you'd set that to something depending on ambient lighting and size of the flames, distance, whatever. The two variable resistors on the two sides are for controlling the speeds of the two motors. Ideally or well ideally you'd want it to go straight but usually you would set it so that the right wheel is slightly faster than the left wheel so it turns left by default and then it can correct when it loses sight of uh, the candle it can correct by turning right again. This here was an extremely frustrating problem that I didn't anticipate and it happened a lot. It will put out the candle, knock it down and then jam on it. Uh, that's the circuit. I'm sure there are better ways of doing it. This is what I came up with. That component in the middle is a double pole single throw relay.